uh, an umbrella term meaning peripheral vascular disease. Uh, there's, you have your arteries and you have your veins. And in this case, we are treating the arteries. So, um, so we'll discuss that. For peripheral arterial disease, there are different treatments depending on the severity of your symptoms. So when somebody comes to us and they're just having, you know, mild to moderate calf claudication, they're eight, which means you can, you can walk about two to three blocks, three to four blocks, even four to five without getting any kinds of uh, pain in the back of the calf. When they stop to rest, that pain alleviates, it gets better. That helps determine that this is in fact, um, an arterial disease. And of course we do an ultrasound to find out that if that is the case. So for people with those symptoms, we really treat typically pretty conservatively. Um, walking is the most important thing. So uh, a lot of people, they're in so much pain, they wanna stop and rest. But once you find out that it is arterial disease, one of the most important things is to keep walking. Um, what happens in that case is it tries to give your body the opportunity to make new pathways for the blood vessel to bring blood flow down to the foot itself. So if you keep walking through the pain, the blood has nowhere to go. So it keeps pressing against these arteries and then starts going elsewhere, forming these side streets for the blood to get down there. If you stop to rest, then the blood flow, I mean, you, of course, eventually you do have to stop to rest, but um, if you just push a little bit more than what you're usually doing, the, the blood then does not have the opportunity if you continuously stop. So we do ask you to push yourself to try to walk at least a half hour a day, um, to even track it, you know, tracking uh, how far it was before you were able to stop and then afterward as time goes on. So it's a walking program. Um, that you're that you're put on in order to help the the blood get down to the legs and to create these blood vessels these these side streets they're called collaterals so um, that's very important and there are medications as well to help these arteries dilate uh, there's um, there's blood thinners also to help all of this process along with the walking in combination if it gets to the point where the symptoms are not alleviated you know, the, you can walk and it's still getting, it's still the same or getting worse. We do offer a procedure, um, a very minimally invasive, excellent procedure called um, a revascularization. And what this does is it allows these little instruments to get down into those blockages, these narrowings that are in the blood vessel and help them dilate it. So it's, it's more of a mechanical um treatment instead of your, your body doing it through walking. So it gives you immediate relief, which is amazing for people. Cause that's what they're looking for. Uh, they've been in so much pain for so long that they need some immediate relief. The procedure itself can take anywhere from 45 minutes to up to two hours. You know, sometimes I've seen less and I've seen more just depending on what, you know, what we're treating. Um, you lay flat for two hours, two to four hours, depending, but most of the time now it's about two hours or less because we do use closure devices to, to close off that, that puncture that we um, entered the vessels through and you go home the same day. Um, so it's an ambulatory uh, procedure. Like I said, excellent results, um, immediate results, and um, it's just overall great long-term.